Today on the Daily Scoop podcast from the Scoop News Group, the GAO finds spotty agency compliance with IDEA Act requirements, and the U.S. Chips Office eyes a $100 million competition focused on manufacturing and AI. It's Monday, October 7th, 2024. Welcome to the Daily Scoop podcast, where you'll hear the latest news and trends facing government leaders. I'm the host of the Daily Scoop podcast, Billy Mitchell. Thanks so much for joining me. Now, here are today's top headlines. Agency reporting required on various website and digital services benchmarks required by the 21st Century Integrated Digital Experience Act is often incomplete and inconsistent, according to a new report from the Government Accountability Office. The Congressional Watchdog found that full compliance with the 2018 law, which mandates annual reports from the 24 Chief Financial Officers Act agencies on federal website standards and eight modernization requirements, is lacking, resulting in submitted reports with varying levels of content and detail. The GAO stated in its report that the lack of detailed guidance contributed to the varied reporting and that the reporting requirement ended without producing consistent reports that could be used to reliably determine agency performance and government-wide progress. And on the law's modernization callouts requiring websites and digital services to be accessible, consistent, customizable, encrypted, mobile-friendly, not duplicative, searchable, and user data-driven, The GAO found some agencies that had addressed all eight requirements and others that had completed none per reports that were submitted in 2022 and 2023. In other news, the National Institute of Standards and Technology's CHIPS Research and Development Office plans to initiate a competition with up to $100 million in funding focused on the sustainable manufacturing of semiconductor chips and artificial intelligence. That's according to a posting in the Federal Register published last Wednesday. The upcoming notice of funding opportunity is meant to boost support for new materials in chip manufacturing and comes as the Biden administration continues to invest in the domestic tech industry. The effort will focus on improving the performance of new chips and increasing the quantity of chips that can be manufactured, as well as on addressing issues with energy and water efficiency and other environmental concerns raised by chip manufacturing. There is a particular emphasis on artificial intelligence-powered autonomous experimentation, or AI slash AE, an approach meant to accelerate the design and construction of new chip manufacturing technologies. The hope is to work against typically slow development timelines in the chip industry, which stand to hamper American semiconductor industrial policy goals. This all comes as there's growing concern that just over 10% of the world's chips are now made in the United States, a sharp decline from decades earlier. The CHIPS Act and subsequent efforts like the AI-AE competition are supposed to reverse or at least mitigate that trend. For more news at the intersection of the federal government and technology, visit fedscoop.com. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of the Daily Scoop podcast available on all podcast platforms. If you've already rated the podcast on your platform of choice, thanks so much. High ratings and good reviews of the show help more people to find it. The Daily Scoop podcast is a production of the Scoop News Group in Washington, D.C. Adam Butler and Carlin Fisher help put the show together and the entire Scoop News Group team contributes. We'll be back next week with more top headlines. Until then, I'm your host, Billy Mitchell. Thanks so much for listening.